Welcome to another one of our Stars in the Wild video series. I am your host today, Noah Elliott, and I am joined by my co-host, Rebecca Heggs. Today we'll be learning how to tie knots in the backcountry. I'm really excited to learn some knots from you, Noah. What kind of knots are we going to be learning about today? Definitely, I'm excited to teach you guys and the viewers. Uh, the knots we'll be learning today is the bowline knot and the trucker's hitch knot. Okay. We're going to start with the bowline, and the bowline has a cool background. It was originally used for sailboats and securing them down. That's awesome. What kind of other things could we use it for if we're not into boat stuff? So this knot is very versatile, which is awesome. So you can use it for tying your raft up to shore. You can use it for tying your bare food up in a tree and you can even use it for tying things down in your car. This seems like a really useful one to know. Do you want to teach me how to tie it? Let's go ahead. Woo! Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to start with this bowline knot is we're going to need a piece of rope and a cool friend sitting across from you. Whoop. And what we'll do is with our right hand, we're going to have the free end of our rope. And what that means is it just means the longer end of the rope. Okay. So we'll have the longer end in our right hand. On our left hand, we're going to have the shorter end. And it's exactly what it sounds like, the shorter end of the rope. <laughs> what we'll do to start is we'll take our right hand and our free end of the rope, and I'm gonna turn it in a circle counterclockwise to where my free end is underneath this piece. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my short end of the rope and I'm going to poke it through. This is my rabbit. The short end is my the rabbit. The short one. Okay. Exactly. So it pokes right through the hole because rabbits love holes. The rabbit's gonna go around the tree and the rabbit's gonna go back into the hole. And now I have this. And what I do is I just pull on either ends to tighten it up, and this is my bowline knot. That seems like a really easy way to remember it. Could you show it to me one more time? Definitely, let's break it down. Okay, take your rope. Here is your free end, and here is your short end. First, make your loop. Make sure your free end is coming out of the bottom of your loop. Next, take your short end and bring it up through your loop. This is the rabbit coming out of its hole. Now, take your rabbit around the tree just like this. The rabbit goes back down into its hole. Now, pull your knot tight and you're done. So we're going to move on to the second knot we're tying today. This knot is called the trucker's hitch, and this is a securing tensioning knot. I use this knot for tying my camp down when I'm at camping zones. I use it for if I'm making a tarp tent, and I also use it for tying things down to my car. This seems really helpful. I'm excited to learn. Definitely. So the first thing you're going to need is a rope. The second thing you're going to need is the bowline knot that we just learned how to tie, which you can see right here. I'm going to move this down. This is my tent. So okay. I'm attached to my tent, and this is my stake. I'm coming around with my free end, and I'm gonna loop it right there. Now all I do is I take this end of my knot, I'm going to twist it counterclockwise like so. I reach through, grab this end, and all I do is I cinch it back on itself. Now I take this free end of my rope, I pull it to whatever tension I need, poke it through, readjust my tension, pinch, then I do a four right here. All I do with this is I reach through and grab it and do something called a half hitch. And all I did there is pull it back on itself. That's awesome. It's like learning two knots in one. Exactly. And how do you take it apart? So the coolest thing about this knot is it's an easy come and go. So you just pull it, it pops right on out. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks for showing me, yeah, Noah. Definitely. Okay, here we have our tenon that we use the bowline to attach to. Here is our free end, and here is our short end. First, make a loop close to your anchored end. Reach through your loop and pull it through a loop of the free end. Make sure to pull your loop away from the end attached to your tent, or bowline, or whatever it is you're tying the bowline to. Now take your free end and wrap it around your anchor point. Again, this would be something like a tent stake if you're using this knot to secure your tent or a tree if you're tying up a raft, for instance. 
Next, we are going to thread our free end through the loop we just made. Pull until you get the tension you need and pinch your free end over the rope of your loop. Continue pinching and make a half hitch by making a four across your tension rope. Now pull a loop of your free end through the center of your four. Finally, pull the loop tight and towards the knot and you're all done.